Hello and welcome to another one of my random videos. Um, just ugh, this is actually a bill, खाने के लिए एक bill, and it's in my hand because कुछ तो glare आ रहा था मेरे camera पे, and I wanted to stick something on top of the camera, and luckily the bill came where I said with some tape that I could stick on to uh, top of the camera. So blocking some of the light on top and that's why a big glare nahi hai i think it's called glare it could be something else as well you know those that when ek layer like the one ray of light just comes through on the camera wo wala scene anyway uh, unfortunately i did not have a lot to record today so i just recorded some gym session so i'm just going to clip that together and uh, yeah that's basically i candy while uh, i talk about something a little bit personal to me and uh, share with you guys so so i'd like to start off by mentioning something that i regularly <laughs> am guilty about then that is you know i mentioned in the last video if you tuned in about how sometimes i feel like an imposter and that's what the imposter syndrome is that you always feel like you aren't working enough and i have kind of learned to let that go a bit and try to learn to relax but i am guilty of one thing which is i get trapped in a lot of these uh rabbit holes that youtube and instagram reels and youtube shorts and youtube videos that i've designed so i end up watching them for a long time more than i should aimlessly and i don't even remember anything about them and i know a lot of you will complain about the same and truth be told that's how the algorithms are actually designed they are meant to keep you hooked they are meant to keep you going through them again and again same thing i noticed with twitter and instagram stories as well and it's gotten more more than before i'm starting to do it i used to have some sort of for some level of uh, refrainment from this i used to stop myself from doing this before because i didn't really enjoy doing it at least the stories part of it on instagram and stuff but off late i can't seem to help it and i have also gotten stuck under that same thing i used to feel i used to feel like i was just run out of time in the whole day i would just wait 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 uh oh wait but i would just watch 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 and then time would just fly and i would lose time in doing something and i wouldn't remember what i was doing and it was such a time waste not because we are not entitled to entertainment or enjoyment but because i wouldn't even remember what i watched i wouldn't recollect what i watched and i wouldn't even laugh at what i watched i wouldn't even cry at what i watched i wouldn't even feel angry upset at what i watched it was just blank it was like blank dopamine barrels that was just dumped it to me and that become that became a sort of norm and the reason why i'm sharing this is because i am making it a point right now to avoid this sort of dopamine rush as much as possible i am trying to actively stop myself from watching videos because the thing with videos as well is I would watch the same video at least 5 to 10 times be it something like an anime fight that I really enjoyed watching in the past be it some cool dialogues in some TV shows like the number of times I watched breaking bad clips over and over again the number of times that I watched a single fight or the number of times I watched something it I kind of treated started treating it like a music video at that point and that I realize is not healthy more than healthy it's just a waste of time and i feel myself losing time during my day so my recommendation is if you're in the same boat 
there are a lot of us in the same boat. And instead of having these cheap substitutes for dopamine, we should focus on doing something that grants us dopamine in the long run, but not such short-term bursts. It's it's like if you did not have school days, you wouldn't know, or you didn't have office days, you wouldn't enjoy holidays. Or if you didn't know what bad was, you wouldn't know what good was. You know, there has to be some equivalent thing that is going bad or wrong for you to know what's right and what's good. And I'm not sure if my message was clear, but I think it's high time that we say no to all of this. Say no to all all these like clickbaits, to these videos that claim to show information to, and mask it in the form of entertainment and then drag it on for 10 minutes and waste our time. To these reels, these shorts that give us the short burst of... Uh, I don't even know what it is anymore. It's not even happiness. But I, I, all I know is, and all you all know is that it's addictive. And we should do something about it. Now, this doesn't mean that you should be in the mindset of, hey, let's keep grinding, let's keep grinding and stay on the grind all the time. I'm not asking you to torture yourself. I'm not saying we should do that. I'm not saying that it's necessary to always be productive or always be doing something. Because that's unrealistic. It's okay to enjoy yourselves. But let's try and earn our enjoyment. Let's try to make sure we remember the times that we actually enjoy doing something. Because that's what we should crave for. That's what it's about. And when when you do something that you feel like you deserve, it's going to amplify how you feel about it. Uh, and it might be a bit of a stretch, but I think this also stretch, stretches to sometimes going out in public and then wearing your head, headphones or wearing your earphones and just listening to music uh, at a very, very regular pace, I'll say, or at, at very, uh, very, very often, such that you block yourself out from the actual world. I don't know if it's the, it's the age, maybe I'm growing older and I feel like I'm getting wiser or something, but I can see how, how much trouble it's caused me and how much time I have lost because of it. Even just before recording this, I actually just spent like two hours just procrastinating. I don't even know if procrastinating is the word because I really did want to get it done, but it sort of automatically got pushed back because of the entertainment that I was pursuing. So it can happen to anyone and even to my mom and dad who recently they become more active on uh, WhatsApp. They spend a lot of their time sharing uh, videos and they're basically just reels put in the form of videos that I shared over WhatsApp and that occupies a lot of their time as well and I see all of us in general having a struggle because of that but anyway it's not uh, i don't i don't want to just keep rambling on about the same thing i'm sure you understand my point but if you have conquered any of this uh do feel free to drop a comment and let me know how if there's any like strategies or techniques that you employed, maybe some mind games that you employed. Because I know for a fact that if you do want to improve on this, the main way is to basically convince yourself and it has to come from within because nobody can actually force you to avoid any of it or force you to not distract yourself. 
where who knows maybe there is something to it if there is a secret to it and if i am able to unlock it <laughs> i'll be more than happy to share it with you guys but right now i'm lost and i'm trying to make my attempts to uh, correct myself any time i identify that i am doing something like this as well so gymming and uh, working out in a way does help me clear my mind off of that in some sense and what else i've noticed is even during the gym there were times when i was when i'd be resting i was actually looking at my phone and i'd take more time than i should normally but every time i go to either a gym that when it's crowded or i'm actually recording i try to make it a point to do everything with a uh, as proper technique as possible and i try to make sure i finish it off as fast as possible because it's embarrassing to just have your camera not the longest time so that's that's like a positive because of what i'm attempting to do anyway uh that about wraps up any discussion regarding this that i wanted to have uh i'd like to know your thoughts about the same and what you believe if it's a good thing or a bad thing cuz some people might actually view it as a good thing because you're more connected and you're more understanding about the world and i'd like to hear what your thoughts are in the meantime i will be pumping some iron and uh, lifting these dumbbells in the best way that i know how coming back to uh the actual content of this video uh and a little bit about what i'm working out today um oh, what i was working out today i basically had two sets of exercises for my shoulders two for my biceps and then i tried to focus two on my triceps so it was technically an arms and shoulders day and this is how i would normally work this in the split just a few variations with some of the exercises because some right now as you can see i'm struggling and in <laughs> exhaustion and pain doing hammer curls so i do hammer curls on the preacher bench or i do normal bicep curls on the preacher bench sometimes with the barbell as well as you can see behind somebody is carrying those uh, nice looking barbells right there so i try to get as many reps as i can down of that and boy during the last set it is excruciating and uh, you can see that on my face <laughs> but you know what they say no pain no gain so yeah that was basically 12.5 kg that i was lifting this machine uh i'm actually not sure if i remember the weight on it properly i think it's 40 kilos but it's it's not very really reliable because um I'm not sure how the machine works but even with 40 kg it just feel light when I do it with single hands and when I use both hands it feels extra heavy so I'm not sure but I just try to get it down and at the end of the day all I have to do is get to failure it doesn't really matter about uh if I'm out lifting anybody else or if I am lifting very heavy weights or not it's just about hitting failure because when you hit failure you hit hypertrophy and your muscles will grow so that's all i really aim to do so just having those exercises down is good for me and i see a lot of people always talk about hey you should lift heavy and you know some people say you should lift light at the end of the day as long as you're getting under 25 reps uh max for any exercise any weight was so it's basically above 5 to 6 reps and below 25 to 20 reps if you're able to use any weight and exist in that range as long as you do it till failure you're good i apologize again for some reason when i hit record on this frame it's it basically went down a bit i don't have a very good tripod so it cut off my head but uh, as you will see in the next clip i will get my head back hey hey and yeah in other news uh, another good news i do have a cs team right now 
um we are yet to practice it's not like official official yet but it's 99 percent through it's just some paperwork you have to go through before i can announce and before i can get to grinding i also did want to post some gameplay on the channel as well uh of me on some cs games but the issue was most of the stuff that i recorded it was not worth putting on and it required a lot of work to edit and put in some of the clips and it didn't make for much video value and even if i did get kills my kills are usually spread out in multiple ways so anyway that is it so i was gonna fade to black and i'm gonna be all ominous so thank you guys so much for coming by i do not have an outro video so i hope you can make do with my voice uh, I'll see you guys next time and yeah, for whatever questions I asked, whatever you want to share, please do feel to drop a comment and as always, love you guys and I'll see you next time.